Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing a tutorial on how I got this look right here. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was being creepy and I was watching my favorite YouTuber, Jamie Genevieve, as always. <laughs> and she did a spotlight eye with kind of like this grungy under eye look. And it made me realize that every single time I do a spotlight eye, like lately, it's a cut crease spotlight eye instead of just like a regular old spotlight eye. So I hadn't done one in a really long time so I was like we'll give it a go, we'll try it out. <laughs> also I'm so sorry if you guys can hear like the weed eaters and like the maintenance guys outside the whole way through this video. Of course like right when I'm ready to film is when they strike up the weed eaters. <laughs> Alright so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eye with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm just going to take my Kala 415 brush as always and I'm going to dip into Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek, which is this one. And I'm just going to kind of like fluff that guy all around this whole area and under my eye. Um, I'm pretty much just using that one to set that primer. Okay, so then on the same brush, I'm going to pick up some of Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek, which is this guy. And I'm going to kind of buff that one into the crease, but I'm only going to do the outer corner and the inside corner. So I'm just going to kind of like work that into the crease a little bit, but then also I'm going to bring it just slightly down onto the outer corner and inner corner of my lid. Okay, so now on my Morphe M506 brush, I'm going to grab some of Wild West from Makeup Geek, which is that one right there. And I'm just going to start to work that one into the crease of the outer and inner corner of my eye. Also gonna bring it down onto the outer and inner corner of my um, lid. And I'm just picking up and then tapping off the excess so that it doesn't like go in with too much pigment right off the bat. So I'm literally just focusing it on the inner and outer corner and I'm leaving this whole section right here blank. Okay, and then on my little MAC shadow brush, I'm going to pick up some of Pocket Change from Makeup Geek, um, which is that one right there. And I'm just going to pat that one over this whole, like, blank area here. And then on that same MAC brush, I'm going to grab some of Shimma Shimma, which is that one right there, also from Makeup Geek. Um, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and tap it just in the very center of my lid just to add a little bit more dimension to that spotlight. And I'm just making sure to pat it so that it really like meshes all the colors together. So then I'm just going to switch back over to my M506 brush and grab a little bit more of that Wild West color and just kind of touch up those outer corners. And then on the same brush, I'm going to grab some more of uh, creme brulee, and I'm just going to use that to help blend out this like Wild West shade on the outer and inner corners. So I'm just lightly running it along the very edges, just to help smoke that out. And then I'm gonna switch back to my Cala 415 brush and I'm gonna pick up more of Beaches and Cream and again just use that to further blend out these shadows. And with whatever is left on this brush after doing this, I'm just going to kind of gently run it along the crease just to make sure that everything is really blended upward. And then on my little MAC shadow brush, I'm going to grab some more of Shimma Shimma and pop that on my brow bone and on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to be really careful on my brow bone just to make sure that it doesn't get into my brow hairs. So 
So then after that, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M506 brush again, and I'm gonna dip into Americano um, from Makeup Geek, which is that one right there, that deep brown. And I'm just going to dip into it, tap off the extra, and then just start to buff that along my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take my Cala brush and just kind of run that along the edge just to make sure that it's really blended under there. Alright, so now I'm just going to pop on my Maybelline, um, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara that they teamed up with Shayla to do, which I actually have really been liking this lately. Um, I did like a first impressions video on this and I am still liking it. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw that on really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and also popped on my other Salon Perfect 614 lash. So while this glue is drying, I'm just going to go ahead and do my lips. And today, I'm just going to put on some of the NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper Lip Gloss in the shade Elizabeth. Alright guys, so this is the completed look right here. Um, I just kind of, I realized that I hadn't done a spotlight eye without doing like a cut crease spotlight eye in a really long time. So, I don't know, this is kind of fun. I like the grunginess, I like the, uh, like the nudie colors of it, so yeah. <laughs> Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, as always, the products that I use, the brushes, my social, all of that good stuff is always listed down below in the description box. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!